Hello friends, welcome to this sixth video for the financial modeling for the startup businesses. Uh, please watch the previous videos and get an idea about the business that we are talking as a sample. The business is retail financial services. We have computed in the previous videos the capital expenses and the revenues in separate sheets. The model attached with this video has all the details. You, I request you to please revisit the capital expenditure sheet because it has been very well tuned now. It has been tailored for the annually rapidly expanding business and all the costs that are only for the first time, one time costs and the costs that are going to recur every coming year when the expansion happens have been segregated. Most of the columns in the capex have given very meaningful names and they are classified appropriately so that you can sort those costs and use the pure table facility to derive meaningful uh, uh, in, uh, meaningful insights into your capital expenses. So after you have done that, please open the operating expenses sheet in this GIP model. Uh, the model version is V21 and please have a look at how the values have been calculated. What are the cost heads? What is the general philosophy of computation of that seat? And after you spend a while there, please return to this video. Okay, now let, let us proceed further. There are several types of financial models prepared for a business. One that promoters prepare for themselves. One that the promoters prepare for presentation to the investor. Uh, I mean, I am, I can uh, assume that you as engineers or commerce people or people who have uh, basic mathematical education uh, must have very well calculated how much money you have invested and you can do those calculations in separate sheets etc. But that won't do. For presentation to the investor, you must prepare a financial model in MS Excel because the investor might propose a lot of alterations to the model and you should be very quickly able to compute the implications of those uh, requirements. So, what we are preparing now is not this small, small scale startup business that you are pre uh, setting up with your small money, but the final business that the investor will look at when he comes in. Remember, that the investor is not looking at what is the potential, what is how much money you have invested already in the business because he has much more money than you have put in your startup business. What he is looking at is when he puts his large chunk of money, how that money will grow and hence you are not supposed to look at investments first. So I stress again, you first look at the capital expenses, then revenues, then operating expenses, and then the investments. So let us uh, talk about the proper operating costs now. The, when we look at a business as a, a business, the, the there are a lot many transactions that happen in business. The transactions are in are physical in nature, but 
if we ignore everything and sum total exactly what happens in business, it can be summed that money comes in and money goes out. If we look at the business from the investor's perspective, then they put money in the business and they get money out of the business. Let's ignore how the customers, suppliers, etc. look at the business. Only from the startup businessman's point of view, he puts money in or they and the investors put money in and they get money out. It's simple as that. So business is a machine in which the input is money, the output is money, but it is not like any other mechanical machine. It has little different characteristics. All mechanical machines have an efficiency of less than 100% and necessarily so. In case of business, in case of prudent businesses, the efficiency is much more than 100% if it is handled properly. And we are going to see by the computation of such model, what is the efficiency of our business. Now, so far, we have seen one title of go money going into the business that is capital expense one title of money coming out of the business it is not straight away to the promoters but again coming into the business from the other people that is customer that is from the perspective of promoters it is money coming to them so we have seen the revenues and now we are looking at the operating costs. From the business's perspective of, from the business's perspective, I mean, you imagine that you yourself are business, then money is coming to you and you are doing something with that money. So, what is done with money can be classified in three ways. Let us call that application of resources. When, suppose X is business and the promoter gives X money that is re resource for X. The investor gives money to them that is resource for it. The customer gives money to them it is resource for it. So, the resources by this hypothetical legal I mean, the business entity or say legal entity, corporate entity is applied in three ways. One is that it spends money for capital expenses. Other that it spends money for operating expenses in brief called as OPEX. And the last, some, there are some other ways the businesses releases, the business releases the money out. So, we are looking at this particular application of resource that is the operating expense. Now, if you look at the operating expense sheet, I have reproduced certain items from the revenue sheet. Certain rows are ditto reproduced from there. That is because the quantities of sale and the years, the timelines, etc., they correspond to what costs are there corresponding to those items. How long we are supposed to produce project revenues? It depends upon what kind of economy in you live in. If your economy has very low inflation rates, then generally you should project your revenues, capex, operating expenses for very uh, high number of years for a very long period of time say 25 30 years an economy that has the inflation rate of only one year should project the revenues for around 30 years if it is around uh, five percent then maybe for around 15 years and so on that is because the money loses value with time and the things become 
unclear in very long future so it is even though the business is a going entity a continuous entity or an eternal entity we should restrict to number of years and the selection of number of years should correspond to the rate of inflation so if some benchmark has to be taken if there is very low inflation uh, which is say 1% in very developed countries uh, then the business model should be prepared for 30 odd years when it is something around 5% like in india then it should be prepared for around 15 to 20 years and when it is 15% or even more like some undeveloped countries then we should prepare it say for 7 to 8 years this uh now you may say that in 30 years or in 15 years the technology may change many business circumstances might change but um then how come we are say, going to sell a business idea that is valid today well the technology might change or might not change but so far as the current requirements are concerned they are going to meet through your solution and when next time the new solution comes or new technology comes then you would have enough wherewithal to maybe adopt to that technology so you are making a continuous claim on whatever new will come to the market so you needn't worry about the change in technology and what is the idea of your business today and what it will be in future now please have a look at the format in which i have prepared the operating uh, costs you can see that the operating costs are prepared in a database fashion this is useful especially to prepare the pivot tables and to classify the cost as per several heads when you do complex business then each of the cost item has several aspects such as to which location this cost is related to which suppose there is an alliance of two or three persons or three corporate entities we for the cost head is responsibility or accountability of which of these three and so on so there are several aspects that are associated with the cost head and the analysis of them might be important to get an insight uh, into the business hence one needs to prepare the <coughs> sorry one needs to prepare the operating cost sheet in a database format it is very important that when you prepare the operating operating expenses sheet you include all the items exhaustively how do you include all the items exhaustively because if you miss any one particular item then you might take a hit of that co- items cost when you are going to actually implement your project you might have provided for unforeseen expenses under the title called contingencies but in business it is impossible to capture all the expenses exhaustively and the contingencies are not for the costs that are not going to be incurred those contingencies are for the the contingency title is for those costs that that are, that can't be elaborately enumerated or enlisted here that's why we take contingencies that doesn't pardon us that doesn't exempt us from missing uh, that would, wouldn't exempt us for missing a particular cost title so exhaustiveness of cost items is very important and for this we should first look at similar businesses 
we should open the uh, annual reports of similar businesses and look at what all has gone as uh, the operating costs into that business then you please go through the capital expenses the each of the capital expense would leave certain thing in the business for example if you take the very first capital item in our sheet that is called formation of company then it means that we are going to pay to the registrar of company certain fee but this would give you an idea that you would need the um, chartered secretary uh, services going uh, going future in the business so if you have a careful look at all the capital expense item that will help you in understanding what are the future operating expenses then you go through the revenues and the revenues too will give you some clues about what cost heads you are missing after that you please imagine your own operations you have to become make an visualization of how that business is operating you have to start with certain point that you have to make a certain sale and a certain customer is coming and then you have to manufacture that product or that service and then you have to list okay this goes into that then this goes into that and you do the branching of all those items for example you just say okay, i have to give a report then you have to give the report on you, know, you have to prepare the report on uh, a computer and then for that computer you need uh, i mean uh, you need a computer then you might need a printer then you might need paper you also might need the windows software you might need antivirus software you might need microsoft office software etc so when you look at your revenues or business activities you list each of them and branch what all is required that i need to purchase from outside the market now it is possible that when you prepare your internal uh, friendly model uh, you need not include your own salaries as started startup businessman but when you show the business model to the investor uh, you must show the salary that you are drawing actually you are not drawing any salary but those people who chose to do jobs in campus when when whereas you chose to do business you should take an equivalent salary or if you had an offer letter you should take a salary from there and that would represent a, a, a conservative estimation of the labor that you have put in for the business now when you estimate uh, the operating expenses in this fashion you are supposed to total them and these operating expenses would help us uh um, would help us in knowing when we you have revenues you have operating expenses then you know the certain other items and then you can conclude something about the profitability note that operational expense uh, operational excellence is key to success because as i mean as ordinary citizens of this world we know that there are certain services there are certain suppliers of those services but those services or the service standards do not meet our requirements and we generally tend to go to those places where the services meet our expectations both in monetary and quality terms so when we take operation oper operating expenses we should remember what is the quality of service that we intend to provide uh, 
this is in business parlance is called service level service level has uh, numeric specifications i mean to give an example of uh, e-commerce a sample uh, service level if you are say giving a um, say call center service then the software in your call center the hardware the availability of people etc should be very reliable and suppose if the internet link to your call center fails then alternative link should be available and the reliability of call center in terms of the ratio of the promised time and the actual available time should be say more than 95 percent or 98 percent or 99 percent now people might be using call centers but they are unhappy with those call centers because their reliability is not there and their customers turn them away because the call center doesn't work now if it is the usp of your call center that you will provide more than 99.5 percent reliability then the hardware software and many other items like redundancy etc going into your architecture of your solution will be far more costly the staff will be more there will be a lot many such items so not only you should list the number of items exhaustively but you should also list the quality specifications and the service level for each of the output that you are going to give to your customer okay now uh, i will just run you through this opec sheet there are i am not uh, the, the basic purpose of this video is not to teach you excel that you are supposed to do independently whenever you look at any thing here suppose you look here some function or anything then you please go to youtube or any such place and type how to do this watch that video and you will learn how to do that thing in excel uh, but when even if you learn how to handle certain kind of calculations in excel that won't teach you how to do the financial modeling in uh, excel that's a little different aspect so let me tell you i mean even the model that i am giving you now is not professional by any standards but it would suffice your uh, needs and if as startups you produce such kind of model or model based on such kind of model to your investment investors uh, and if there is good flexibility reasonability in that that might impress the uh, investor uh, i have just highlighted six cells in this uh, opex sheet in elo this is basically where the 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 cells where there are in basic fundamental input values in uh, when you go on preparing model and the more it complex the more complex it becomes you forget where you have put the original values so you should have a coloring scheme where you should have colors for uh, raw inputs assumptions calculations final outputs etc if you have all that time to do uh, the things so i have um, the basic purpose of this you can see that the senior management superiors supervisors and officers the officers are derived from the total so the moment we change the composition of seniors or supervisors or the total hq staff the other things automatically get adjusted this is the beauty of modeling with excel so to change the entire conf configuration of your business headquarters you just need to change one or two cells 
then you are supposed to take all the assumptions i have taken two inflations because the economic inflation is with respect to ordinary consumers of various kinds basically for families the business inflation would be a little bit different concept now your country might be preparing the central bank the reserve bank of your country might or might not be preparing the data for a particular type of cost cost so if you have the data for a particular kind of cost then those excel sheet trends are very easily available on the reserve bank website and you can compute what is the trend of inflation in that and you can generally expect that the same trend would continue because we are not um, um, consultants or uh, analytics people who are going to dwell into those economic factors so we'll just go by what trend was in the past uh, if you have someone who gives you better ideas as some newspaper resources that you rely etc then you can go by that input then in input i have reproduced certain cells from revenue sheet you can if you see the references you can see the direct references to the revenue sheet um, all the types of quantities the type 1 families and type 2 families have been reproduced here you can see that the calculations of uh, i have inserted one row called year number that is because the inflations have to be indexed uh, if the in inflation is 5% then my previous cost will be multiplied by 1.05 then the next will be 1.05 into 1.05 and so on so it becomes easier if you give these numbers 1 2 3 at the top then i for the uh, database philosophy i have written this types thing to easily generate the pivot table there is a pivot table which totals the operating expenses by type and this can be very quickly prepared you can quickly prepare all kind of percentages do all kind of insight uh, full research on the um, operating costs with uh, this kind of uh, analysis then for retail financial services if i envision then i have to pay annual maintenance contract fees i have to pay connectivity charges i have to pay manpower charges i have to pay consumables utilities certain operational i may outsource certain costs as i have written here that the call center has been entirely outsourced and i have not shown any manpower etc so even the operation sheet should have a flexibility of saying 1 and 0 where if you suddenly change your decision from outsourcing to insourcing then the change of 1 and 0 should in certain rows should give you that flexibility immediately so you can try by reproducing the call center as if it was insourced and in the quantities etc you can put the number 0 and later you can replace then the advertising miscellaneous expenses you can see that whenever there is an uh, expansion there, there are certain cost items that are subject to the uh, inflation the manpower cost is subject to inflation it will increase every year there are certain cost items that are constant there are certain cost items that are both increasing as per the quantity is increasing every year you can see that in uh, this uh, column g uh, row row 10 the quantity quantity of retail outlets in every city is increasing exponentially in this business and hence there are certain rows uh, there are certain cost items in which the costs are in, in related both to the rapidly 
rapid expansion of business as well as the inflation of the costs so you have to input the formula accordingly uh, in the formula tab of the excel sheet there is one function called evaluate formula so you can just uh, see how it evaluates and you can see the basic philosophy of excel calculations that how what it calculates first and what it calculates later etc and you can learn this as well a note that i i insist that it is not you as a startup businessman who is required to do business modeling but you are supposed to get it done and you are supposed to understand the relative values of all these numbers you are supposed to check them you should be comfortable with each of the values in the number you needn't do all the any of the calculations but the ownership of each of the number should be yours and if you are three to four people it if one person prepares the model each of the other persons should cross check both for the reasonability of the values error etc so you can see that type of calculation done here and there are other expenses i have provided here miscellaneous advertising logistics and with this the computation of operating expenses covers i have listed the manpower total below separately that is basically because i have simplified my life by showing every cost as a percentage of the manpower cost because since this is just a sample exercise i didn't go into the calculations i have just used common sense of what percent it would be but when you do actual business you need to put in the norms the units and do careful calculations for each cost head i think with this i have given you sufficient in insight into how the um, operating expenses are computed uh, after this we will proceed to maybe profit and loss statement or maybe investment statement till then uh, bye and good luck